Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Ellen Barrett, and we have a great show ahead for you today, but we're starting off talking about upcoming elections and what you need to know if you do want to vote. And so I'm joined by Molly McGrath, and she is with Vote Riders. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. And you are the campaign coordinator. Yes. Wonderful. So I'm sure that entails a lot of different responsibilities and a lot of different knowledge that you can kind of bring viewers today. So I'm excited to hear some more. Absolutely. We're a nonprofit. So like any nonprofit, you get to do a lot of, of tasks. So awesome. that's the great part of the job too. Tell us a little bit about more about your organization. Well, my organization, Vote Riders, is really focused on mm -hmm. all of these new voter ID laws, mm -hmm. focused on what IDs, the, what photo IDs folks need when they go and vote and mm -hmm. making sure that everybody knows what ID they need and that everybody has the ID they need. Right. Very important part of the process. It is, and especially since these laws are new. Right. And if you don't have it, then you can't, right? Well, if you don't have it, you can still vote provisionally, and then you have until the Friday after the election to get that ID and take it to the clerk's office or email it to the clerk's office and have your ballot counted. So there is that option as well. But I'm sure at that point, it's such a short time period that it's difficult to kind of figure it out and rush at that last minute. You're right, and that's why now in June and July, this is really the crucial time to mm -hmm. start talking about getting that ID and getting registered so you're ready for August and you're ready for November. So what do people need to know? What do they need to vote? Well, they need to be registered. Mm -hmm. And for that, I like to say registration is the R's. So <laughs> registration is with residents, and that's mm -hmm. proving where you live. Mm -hmm. So that's where you live in Madison, where you live in Dane County, something like your driver's license, if it has your current address, or a bill. It's the only time that bills are good. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you can use you know, your MG&E bill, your cell phone bill, and that is for registration, proving your residence. And then you need the photo ID, mm -hmm. and that's something that most voters do have. They okay. have that Wisconsin driver's license, that Wisconsin state ID. It needs to be from Wisconsin. And they have that, and they can use that to go and vote. And if they don't have it, that's okay. We actually, the organization I work for, we open up a case for every voter who doesn't have an ID. Give us a call. We'll help you out. We'll figure out what, what you need. If you need a state ID, a driver's license, what you have, if you need a social security card, birth certificate, wow. we'll take care of all of that. So, so a lot of different forms you can use. Well, you can use, you can, you can use that Wisconsin state ID, that okay. Wisconsin driver's license. You can also use a passport, uh, tribal ID, veterans affairs card, stu student IDs are compliant in certain circumstances oh, as well. So good. some different options there. Then yes, too. absolutely. So what should people do if they don't have one of those forms? Well, if they don't have a form, I would say get Turn off the TV and call me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do it right now. Um, and then the, there's a hotline. Leave a message, 608-729-7720. And give me a call, and we'll figure out what, what you need and how to get there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to you know, look things up. If you don't want to, we can, we can do all those things. It's really a full-service voter ID shop. That's so nice. And it sounds like, too, you guys even help figure out transportation to the DMV, even if that's an issue. Exactly. You know, it's really interesting, and what's mm -hmm. happening here in Dane County is really unique and yeah. one of the only things I've seen any place in the country. But there's actually free union cab rides to any voter to and from the DMV to get that ID. And this is sponsored by the county clerk, the Dane County clerk, Scott McDonald, and Union Cab gave us a generous discount. So call that number. And if, if you're out someplace in Dane County, rural, someplace in the city, and not sure where the DMV is or how to get there, give me a call. We'll make sure you have everything you need. We'll make sure you get in that cab. And we'll make sure that you have one successful trip to the DMV and that you know you leave with that receipt and get that ID mailed to you. That is so awesome and yeah. so helpful for um, a lot of viewers, you know, who maybe that is the barrier and then it's not worth trying to figure it out at that point. Absolutely. So that's why in, in Dane County there's really no excuse <laughs> to, to not go and vote. Right, right, exactly. And so what if somebody is watching and they have their ID and they're ready and excited to vote, but they want to you know, join in on the, the mission and help other people. Absolutely. You know, I am in the field every day talking to voters at churches, at mm -hmm. food pantries, at schools, and a lot of voters still don't know about this law. And it's new. This mm -hmm. is the first year statewide it's been implemented. So we need everybody talking about this because it can also be intimidating. Mm -hmm. But the more we're all talking about it and familiar with it, the easier it is for everybody. So have have those folks, if you want to get involved, give me a call. We can talk about doing presentations at your church, doing some tabling, doing some outreach. There's an incredible group of volunteers in Madison, the Dane County Voter ID Coalition. 
and they're organizing and we're doing things all over the county every day. So there's lots of opportunities to get involved. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you for being here today, Thank Molly. You. I appreciate it. This Thank is you. Molly with Vote Riders. Talk of the Town will be back right after this.